Hey there everybody, it's Chloe in Japan and today I am here in Hiroshima, Japan at the Peace Memorial Park and more specifically I am at the Children's Peace Monument inside the park and this monument is to remember all the children who lost their lives due to the A-bomb and even the after effects of the A-bomb. But this monument was originally inspired by a girl named Sadako Sasaki and she was two years old when the A-bomb hit but she was unharmed by it but due to the exposure to radiation she developed leukemia 10 years later and while she was in the hospital she wished to get better and live a long life and so she folded a thousand paper cranes to help her wish come true. Unfortunately, after fighting leukemia for a while, she did end up passing away. So the students of her class came together. They made this monument to remember not only her, but all the children who lost their lives due to the effects of the A-bomb. And over 3,000 schools donated to make this monument a reality. And so since then, because people were so touched by her story, they started folding paper cranes to not only honor her, but all the children who lost their lives during the A-bomb. I even made some paper cranes myself while I was here in Hiroshima, and now I'm gonna go drop them off. If you don't know how to fold paper cranes, don't worry. I've linked the tutorial that I used in the description box down below. So the stone tablet here at the monument reads, this is our cry, this is our prayer for building peace in this world. While I was there, I saw other people dropping off their cranes, and it was so nice to see how excited everybody was to come together and spread this message of peace. So if you were able to come to Japan and visit the Peace Park and the Children's Peace Monument, and you want to drop off some cranes, they have where you can register your paper cranes right here. It has it in Japanese and in English. And you just fill it out with your name, address, a message of peace. And then you just drop off your paper cranes in one of these boxes. They usually have one open for people donating. And then you just take your registration slip and just put it right in here. Now let's go drop off our cranes. Alright guys, so I just dropped my cranes off. If you want to send cranes but you're overseas, don't worry, they have an address that you could send them to and they, that address will be in the description box down below. And you don't have to worry about folding a thousand paper cranes because I know it can be a little intense. It's really just about the peace movement and contributing anything is really helpful in showing your support. You could fold 10 or you could fold 5,000 as many as you want don't worry just it's about the support that you're showing to the peace movement for more information about the peace park here um, definitely go check out my video on it it'll be in the description box down below um, I tell more about how it's a museum and you can learn more about the atomic bomb attack on Hiroshima and some of the different monuments that are here at the peace park and if you want to get started unfolding your paper cranes but don't know how, don't worry, I'll include a tutorial in the description box down below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!